dear students in this section we are going to learn concept of center of mass that is velocity and acceleration of center of mass we will learn the application of this concept through certain illustrations so let us move to illustration number 1 in this illustration it is given two balls a and b of equal masses are projected upward simultaneously one from the ground with speed 50 meter per second that is in the upward direction you follow the diagram and uh, second from the top of building of high 40 meter and it is also projected in the upward direction with speed 30 meter per second okay find the maximum height attained by their center of mass that means the center of mass of a and b we need to calculate what height it will attain that the maximum height reached by the center of mass of a and b system okay so let us move to problem analysis part this is the diagram okay now let us select a and b as a system ball a and b as a system when they are traveling when they are traveling the only force acting on the system that is the gravitation force that is the gravity force that means the acceleration of the center of mass should be g downward direction okay so let us do one thing let us find the initial height of the center of mass at the time of just before throwing the balls so here we write the initial height of the center of mass as y initial c we can write that is equal to mass m multiplied by 0 let us take this as a initial level so m multiplied by 0 for this plus m multiplied by 40 because this height is 40 meter and divided by total mass that is m plus m that is equal to 2m and this is equal to 20 meter this is the initial height of the center of mass just before throwing or you can say just at the time of throwing now let us find the initial velocity of center of mass initial velocity of this ball is 50 meter per second in the upward direction and this is 30 meter per second also in the upward direction let us consider upward direction as positive so we can write ucm equal to m multiplied by 50 plus m multiplied by 30 divided by m plus m this will be the initial velocity of the center of mass okay now we know as we discuss the acceleration of center of mass is g downward direction and we have taken upward direction as positive that means the y downward direction should be negative sign with the negative sign so acceleration of the center of mass should be equal to minus g so this is the acceleration of the center of mass now we know for the constant acceleration case we can apply kinematics equation right so here we can apply the equation v square equal to u square plus twice as because we are required to find the maximum height reached by the center of mass we know the initial velocity of the center of mass that is ucm we know at the maximum height center of mass velocity should be zero so we should use the kinematics equation that is vcm square equal to ucm square plus twice acm h okay h here is the maximum height reached by the center of mass of the two balls so let us substitute the value vcm should be zero and ucm equal to four this is ucm if we calculate this is value we can calculate here this is 50 Plus thirty eighty divided by two m and m will get cancelled. So this is forty meter per second. Okay. So let us substitute the value in this formula. So this capital H value will be sixteen hundred divided by twenty. That is eighty meter. And we know the initial height of the center of mass. That is twenty meter. So we can write the maximum height reached by the center of mass as initial height plus capital h so this is equal to 20 plus 80 that is equal to 100 meter so maximum height reached by the center of mass should be equal to 100 meter